Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker. I'm here with Spring at Dawn. Um, off camera, I turned in the token of Dryad, or Dryad token, uh, to the Storyteller. I also sold the Stag Lord's Wine and the Stag Lord's Broken Charm. I'm kind of regretting selling the charm. I should have probably held on to it until I went and talked to the uh, Guardian, of, Guardian of the Bloom. Uh, also, it took some time. I was looking at my the length of my Let's Plays, and they seem to be getting a little bit away from me. They're uh, they're getting a little bit longer each time. They're averaging at an hour now, as opposed to 30 to 40 minutes, which was my initial intention. Uh, you can almost say that I'm no longer Let's Playing the game, it's Let's Playing me. Okay, so that... So I actually have to go here. Okay, that explains why I can travel to them, and then claim them for 15 BP. That's fine. What's this? There's an event, a new event here. Okay. Ruined Watchtower. I remember seeing that previously. There are all sorts of things to check out. But I do want to do the Bald Hilltop first before we run out of time. And I was also checking out other Let's Players' uh, Let's Plays, and they all seem to be much further ahead of me much further ahead from where I'm at currently, which is, uh, which is fine because there seems to be a lot of bugs. The, the further you get into the game, the more bugs that seem to pop up for people. So I'm, I'm good with taking my time and letting the developers iron out the bugs as I progress, because I really haven't run across a lot of, you know, game breaking bugs or any, really. I don't want to run across one that's going to break my save and then I have to start over from scratch, you know? Just Which reminds me, I need to take care of this. Thanks for a helpful tip in the comment section. Boom. Alright. Now since we're here, I'm probably going to go ahead and activate heroism on everybody. So it lasts for 50 minutes now, which is A-OK -okay in my book. Let's quick save. Uh, actually, Valerie, you need to bring out our friend, the dragon. I don't know what's going to be up here. I need to burn through these weaker healing potions anyway. Uh, bark skin, why not? Why not reduce potion a large person? Yeah, bring one of these along. And Yeah, bring that as well. Quick save again, so I don't have to redo all that stuff. Let's see what's up here. I am yours to command. Valerie, I need you in the front tanking. Give the order. That's pretty. Whatever that is seems like slightly less Let so. All right. One. All right. Just giant spiders right now. That's not that's not a big deal. I can handle giant spiders. At least I hope I can. Uh, let's activate Bless. Probably go ahead and get this pump in just to be safe. Let's activate Prayer as well. All these buffs. There we go. Repent. Alright, there we go. You know what? Actually, go ahead and take this potion of enlarged person as well. I'm just popping some stuff this fight just to make it go more easily. 
I mean, we're slaughtering giants, but wait. Silky. We shall overcome. And a doom spider. All right. Um. Well, this has this individual has an actual name. Is that hold person? Oh man. All right. Let's see if I can get Valerie to tank this. My plan is for everyone else to. Your life ebbs low. Engage with her. Attack. Or him. No, it's a her. Yeah, Valerie will just tank that, and we'll take care of this. Smite evil. Missed. Lame. Dead. Dead, Silky. Alright, everybody take care of this doom spider. Um... Critical hit for 60. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, uh, Lindsay. Done. Cloak and a ring. Okay. Oh, sort of cloak. Wyvern skin cloak. Or wyvern. Uh, this cloak grants its wear plus two enhancement bonus to natural armor and plus four resistant bonus on saving throws against poison, sleep, and paralysis. It doesn't stack with other effects, right? Might give it to hit. Well, actually, she might benefit the most from it, right? Yeah, she gets two more armor out of it. So, hot dog. Ruler's mantle, I mean, it's just most fitting for him, but, uh... Let me give it to this guy. Give this to him. Oh, I like the fur though. It'd probably look even cooler, my guy. Eh, whatever. All right, all right. Let's just see how it looks on my guy real quick. And it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think I'm as worried about poison anyway. So I'm gonna get, yeah, my guy's gonna have the fur line, fur line cloak. Forwards. What does this say? A fragment of an ancient pillar covered with eroded letters of unknown language. Okay. Without a doubt. Nothing up here. Is there anything else to... Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Is this done now? I mean, it didn't give me a mission com or quest complete or anything. I don't know. I mean, the portal's gone. And a bunch of spiders are dead. What's that up there? Oh, just the, uh... Actually, I have no idea what that is. Oh, not important. Let's get out of here. Yeah, split up too. That's a good idea. I'm gonna go check out what that event is at the uh, the Skunk Forge or Ford, not Forge. 
Not forging skunks over there. Alright. Let's go check this out. While I'm here. And I'll probably get to the bandit camp next. Because I feel like... I gotta start making my way towards the verdant chamber. So what event would be here? Is it this camp? To victory. We shall Guess so. Um, I have one of these guys lined up now. Okay. Nats for 20s, baby. All day. Is that it? Cool. Copper ring. Scroll of burning arc. The camp looks habitable. Its owners must be somewhere nearby. The gnomes fought fiercely, but eventually they were outnumbered. A couple of corpses are badly burned by acid and alchemical fire. Mouthwatering broth is simmering in the pot. All right, well, at the very least, we'll take all your loot, so you won't be forgotten. Crowbar. Okay. Fighting the Bleaching Practical Guidance. Cooking Almanac of the Inner Sea. Yeah, we'll read this real quick. All right, so Fighting the Bleaching... Practical Guidance by Gisa Nordicani? Kwani? 1. The youth shall leave their malady behind. The bleaching does not cling to people until they mature. What is the color of your skin? Apple cheeked yesterday, but deathly pale today. That's an alarming sign. Closely monitor the condition of your skin, hair, and eyes. 3. Never be bored. Curiosity is your best protection. Have a finger in every pie. 4. Don't break your neck. Be prepared to stand up for yourself or run for your life when, you're, when you venture out to seek adventure. Five, never give up. There's a remedy for the bleaching, and it isn't pills, but a new wardrobe or a new lover can stop the disease, and a proper journey can prevent its onset for a long time. Six, you're not alone. Find yourself some soulmates that might just give you a new lease of life. Okay. Well, let's continue to explore these. I see something! Can't be, oh, sorry, I already looked at that. Ooh, a sigh. Hello. Is that what the event was? Let's go check out over here, I guess. I don't really know how I would know what event was here. I have stuff to sell now, so that's that's nice. Maybe if I step out, let's actually exit and then see if the event's over now. I'll have him take one of these, uh, wherever it's at. There we go. He got his dexterity back. I guess I did miss stuff, didn't I? Yeah, it seems they cleared it. Or maybe just going there clears it. Um. Yeah, we'll fail in six days and 13 hours. Do I have to... Hmm. 
Let me manage my kingdom real quick. Do I have to send someone on a uh, an event thing for it? I thought I already did. Yeah, this ends in a day. Okay. Yeah, all right, someone's over there taking, okay. That's what I to make sure of. As I had to, that, that tab is for things that I control in the barony. All right, let's head this way. I'll rest before I go into the bandit camp, which is where I plan on going. Oh, wait. Wait a report. Do I need to go back to do that? Let's head back that way and manage my... Let's go to the Kingdom tab real quick when I get over here. Some half elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law, which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news spread quickly through the merchant guild. Measures should be taken immediately. The treasury will take a loss. Sure, I don't really have a. Uh... I don't have a treasurer, which I feel like would be more apt at dealing with you know needs of the treasury. We'll get there though. We will get there. All right. Strength betrays me. Let's head this way, and then once everybody needs to rest, we'll rest. Alright, there you go. Be nice, don't you think? I'll see how long I've been recording. Wow, only 17 minutes. Okay. Not bad at all. Good, yeah, we can probably clear a whole other area. I say that, and it's gonna be like the size of the sycamore sycamore tree. <clears throat> Let's hope that's not the case. I guess we can do the Ruined Watchtower. It's closest. This sounds intimidating. Found loot already. Let's head back this way. Torax pendant. Forwards. Grass is sprouted between the cobbles of the ancient ruin. I wonder if this is a Dwarven ruin ruins that, uh... Hey, a dog! He's not hostile. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna follow him. Woof, woof. What's up, dog? Let's go pick up these herbs, and then I'll follow him. It's pretty big. Not the biggest. Alright, dog, I'm here. What's up? Let's go check this corner real quick. Yep, there's stuff over here. Dwarven Helm Shard. The artisan skill. Okay. Without a doubt. Don't hesitate. Heyo! Alright, so I'm gonna go down here real quick before I explore or talk to that guy. Because that guy, spoiler alert, is another companion. And he will be the final someone's nod bones gleam in the bushes. He'll be our 
uh, final companion, permanent companion. This looks like an interactable log. So we'll be saying farewell to Lindsay. I think. I don't know if we're going to recruit him right away. I'm sure he'll have like a quest for us or something. Ekundayo. Following the strange wolf, you climb the top of the hill. Where you see a black skinned man sitting up under a spreading bush. The wolf runs up to him and it sits near, whimpering. Whom you brought? Get lost, dog. You're not needed here. Alright, the man asks the wolf that. And he raises his arm as if to hit the wolf, but the animal doesn't even try to dodge, still whining. The man's hand goes down, never finishing the blow. The man staggers to, his feet, staggers to his feet, and you notice there's blood soaking the right side of his leather leggings. His leather leggings. He's very tall and rather lanky. While he stands, while he stands before you, leaning on his bow, his hurt leg trembles slightly. The right side of his leggings darken, darkens again with fresh bleeding. Nevertheless, the man doesn't reveal his pain, except for a strange awe and heavy gaze. The man says, looking straight into your eyes. Sounds like a spell. <laughs> okay. I guess you were wrong. This is his mane. No way. Who could have guessed that? Making, yeah, just being sarcastic. It is so. Yeah, you're bleeding. We need to patch you up. Patched up already. This yeah. wound isn't the deadliest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Donal. I'm Baron of these lands. Nice to meet you. Ekon, for decent ones. Are you decent? I hope so. Yes, I'm a friend. What are you doing here? Sitting. Waiting. Hunting. Who? Can I help you? <sighs> Lured your curiosity. Saves me right. We'll start again. The name's Ekondayo. Ekon for decent ones. Used to be a carpenter in the Bristle Hill village. Trolls attacked. Killed everyone but me. We'll show them that was a mistake. Okay, so he's had trouble with trolls as well. They all deserve death. Kargad, most of all. Rock troll. He led them. Now how did you get wounded? I've been hunting trolls until they have hunted back. The wound can't stop the hunting. Just slows it down. How can a mere carpenter be chasing trolls effectively? You were not always a baron. Here, I was not always a carpenter. Nothing to lose anymore. He adds almost in a whisper. Uh, did you know that local trolls are not afraid of fire now? No, didn't. Fire arrows couldn't murder them. Now I know the reason. I have no chance here. I can see it now. Uh, why are you sitting on this hill? Troll feet often followed this path. Can't hunt them anymore. That's why I wait. They will come here eventually. Oh yeah, I'm hunting the trolls too. Would you like to join our efforts? Ekron's face gets a trifle calmer. You can see he's glad to hear your offer. We'll mark on your map all the places where troll feet tread the land. Trolls land must be somewhere nearby. Dwarven ruins, cobble trail, and troll clearing. The spirit is strong, but the body falters. We'll follow you wherever you need, but this wound must be tended by healers in the capital. Don't want to burden. One more thing before we go. Troll feet tread this path often. Would like to stay here until they appear. Yeah, let's uh let's ambush him. Alright, as much as I want to get rid of Lindsay right now, she has equipment that might be beneficial to him. Mm, I don't know. We'll give him a shot. We'll see what happens. And I always go back to the capital and take things from Lindsay. All right. So I see a troll. What does he have available? Your eyes open. He's pretty banged up. Long stride. This book gives you ten foot enhancement bonus to your base speed. Aspect of the Falcon. And rapid shot. He doesn't have a lot going on for him. He needs to level up. What level is he? He's level 5, and that's all he has. No. Alright, giant humanoids, favorite enemy, rapid shot. 
animal companion. So that's the wolf. I should have asked why the wolf was. Uh... So he has point blank shot, precise shot, rapid shot. He likes long bones. Okay, well, let's see how he does here. Without a doubt. I don't have hair wisdom oh, anymore. Let you down. That could be a problem. Next before I go. Let's finish them quick. Now three trolls, this might not go well. That's just not too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. What do we got here? Well, one of them had decent gold on him, but like one gold a piece? Come on. Alright, let's um. Let's get this scroll in his inventory, is it at? I thought I'll waste it on him right now. Screw it. I'm going to. I very rarely use scrolls in combat anyway. It's only 16. Okay, not bad. Now let's go check out this uh, tower then. This might change my... There we go. Actually, that works out pretty well. But yeah, I wanted a ranger in my party who also you know, brings a an animal companion. And he should have perception, stealth, yeah, mobility, and lower nature. It's pretty decent. He doesn't bring a lot to the table utility-wise. He's just he's just a ranger. We shall overcome. All right, he's peasy. Ooh, good amount of loot here. Ooh, 212. And some Jasper? Heck yeah. I'm sorry, these mushrooms look a little, uh, a little phallic in shape. Alright, another quick save. And exit. Yeah, we'll finish exploring this area, then we'll probably call it an episode. I'll head back to the capital, probably off camera. And then I'll get Lindsay's gear and give it to this guy. At least one of her gear that he can use. Oh, hello. My search was not in vain. Ready and willing. Yeah, but it's trapped. Everybody get back. You can count on me. Done and done. Stand with 
One gold. Awesome. Some bandits. Are they attacking from behind at all? Doesn't seem that way. Oh wait, yep. This one. Hi right, Valerie, you go after him. Uh harem. Actually, let's see about the charging. Let's go over there. Good job, Valerie. On the line over there. Good stuff. Do not falter. Cannot. She I might be in me. trouble here. You think that? This guy at all. Let's see what, uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's dead now. Never mind. Because I couldn't, couldn't hit that guy. I'm still curious what the rolls were. Um... I'm a class of 21. That's not that great. Despite the stag lord being long dead, the bandits still play these lands. Okay, well. In case it wasn't obvious, that chest was a trap. One, one sturdy walls became... One sturdy walls became decrepit and crumpled. Let's quick save before I get too far ahead of myself. Ooh, ancient oh stairs. God, no. Check that out in a second. Let's finish going to the west, then we'll come back to those stairs. I will guide us. Who will prevail? Doesn't matter. Oh, they're fighting. It's fine. No strike wasted. Nowhere to run. How long is this? It's still shrouded in flame. How long is it? Should last for five minutes. It's been less than five minutes so far. This is the first time I've actually gotten troll skin hide. Or, uh, troll hound hide. From a troll hound. It's like it's another way up to the top of that hill. I'd rather go the mo mobility route, but once I get up there, I can. Ooh, another troll. Give the order. I'm not afraid. And troll hounds. Okay. Well, I didn't expect all that. We should be okay. But just to be safe, let's uh. Good job, Valerie. Man, she's been putting in some work. Is he defending anything, or is he just chilling back here? Yeah, there it is. I did as you asked. Another Dwarfhelm's shard. That's my experience at. Oh, hello. What is this? This must be something for Harem to look at, right? 
Un unlike the time-worn watchtower, the statue of Torag is in perfect condition. The Dwarven God's face has a stern look, almost accusatory when combined with the surrounding devastation. Harem gives the statue a long look and spits on the ground without saying a word. Ekin bows his head and whispers a short prayer before the statue. Uh, perception? I succeeded. Dwarven art artisans are famous for installing clever, clever hidden mechanisms in their works. You discover a hidden panel with a, a, na a niche, niche, niche above it. Or niche, I guess. In the niche, I said... Because you can pronounce it both ways. Niche for if it's like a small like alcove, and niche if it's like the uh, adaptation version of the word, I think. Anyway, a set of jagged grooves adorned with arcane symbols seem to be connected to something deeper inside the statue. It seems that access to Torex treasures will require the missing cogs. Stone panel mechanism keeps the shutter both sturdy. Got a proper key. Alright, well, I guess we're looking for a key to the statue. Alright, this is talking about it, right? On the ancient parchment, there are words written by a feeble hand, discolored with age and barely visible. Every morning I wake up as a 20-year-old boy. It's the best morning of my life, for today is the first time I take over the post of the Watchtower over the Great Shield Road. Every morning I open my eyes and I see the tower in ruins. Horrified, I grope my gray beard with my gnarled fingers and slowly realize there is no Shield Road anymore. And it's been this way for more years than I can count. I must be older now than the decrepit Galgan was when he died and left me alone. Unforgiving time has eroded both the stones of the tower and my flesh and mind. The holy statue of Torag is the only thing time itself dares not touch. I do remember that it's my duty that it's my duty to guard something hidden inside the statue. But I don't remember what exactly I am guarding. The key I wear hanging in my neck, the Lang Langbuck's golden cog, is as heavy as an anvil. Where is the war Wurra Dash's white cog? I don't remember. What happened to this Gegi's black cog when its keeper, Galgan, died? I don't know. Every morning I go around the neighborhood looking for people. I haven't seen any for ages, neither traders nor bandits. Sometimes my mind tricks me and I recall speaking to a hunter or a scout just yesterday. These memories are too vague to be true. I guess my feeble mind just entertains itself with illusions. I've been hoping for too long to see... I gotta open it up. I've been hoping for too long to see a day when the doors return and restore the rune. Now I seriously doubt there is anyone of my kin left in this world, or anyone alive at all. Maybe some unimaginable plague has raised away every single living soul in the whole, whole of Galarian except for me. If someday someone returns to these parts and manages to read this, remember our names. This tower is built by dwarves of the Waradash, Skeggy, and Ling Lingbuk clans in 4241. It was abandoned in 4499. We, the last shields, were left behind to keep our eternal watch for the glory of Torag and the Dwarven people. Our names are Gaugan, Skeggy, and Wark Langbuck. It was our free choice, and we have no regrets. Remember us. Alright, so there's going to be... Three keys, it seems. The remains of Cobbled Road are barely visible. Torag's pendant. Some giant spiders. You will go. They're kind of hurting on us. Um. Oh well, the other potion sucked. Well, that's not good. I didn't expect some giant spiders to take do that for us. I think a cleric back in the capital can revive him for us for a fee. It's probably expensive. These giant spiders are much stronger than I remember giant spiders ever being. They like, even the ones at the uh, the bald hilltop weren't this bad, right? Well, I guess we'll um leads on. We'll have to come back for him, I guess. I did as you asked. I kind of don't want to continue to explore since I'm down a cleric. I mean, how long have we been recording now? Forty minutes. That's ideally. Face me if you dare. 
And a transmuter. Alright. Let us strike as one. Bleed for me. Do not hold back. These magics should be used in other ways. Ha! Money. Man, I really don't want to have to revive him. But he's dead, dead, so probably gonna have to. Actually, I probably reload. Let's check this out, load real quick. So he's dead. I don't want to get back and pay all that money for that. Uh, load this one. Yeah, screw that. He is just a little too squishy to be on the front lines. Someone was asking what uh what Hammer is good at, or like what his purpose was, and uh, I have to admit, it's I don't know. I might I might end up going with the other cleric if this keeps up. I just wanted a dwarf in the party. That's kind of why I. had um, selected Harem as one of the permanent party members because I like Dwarves is my favorite fantasy race. Typically. Alright, so I know that they're over here. I'll kill these guys again. I'll probably call it an episode there. No, no, I want to finish this area. Mm. I'm split. Ready and willing. Now let's go. Who will prevail? Does Let us strike as one. We shall overcome. Repent. That's a really good heal. 13? I'll take that. There we go. That went much better. Alright, we'll cover the ground that we've already covered. The end near. In the next episode, we'll finish exploring this area, and then, um... I, mean, I feel like we got plenty of done because we did the bald hilltop, cut all those spiders. Done and done. It should be this thing over here that we can discover, right? I see something. There it is. There's more to this hilltop than we actually discovered. I will guide Let's go back up there. I did as you asked. Yeah, I didn't go over here. Silly old me. Ooh. Some big bones in here. And a bunch of spider webs. My search was not in vain. Oh wow, okay. 
Once long ago, a sturdy watchtower rose above the forest, ready to signal an enemy's approach day or night. Now the ancient, moss-covered stones were crumbling, and birds rather than warriors inhabited the place. The ground floor had long been looted, but there still seemed to be some furniture left on what remained of the upper floor. A rotted table, an uneven chair, and even a small but seemingly robust chest. Sadly, the stairs leading up had collapsed long ago. Harem walked around the tower slowly, running his fingers along the cracks in the stone. I like places like this. Peaceful, quiet. Here, one is bound to consider that which awaits us all, sooner or later. Yes. Taking a seat, he lost himself in his admiration of the ruins. I couldn't inspect the flo upper floor. Possible to climb, but risky. Stones might collapse. We could use a rope to pull it down. Yeah, we have uh, we have rope, so we trusted Echoon to hitch the chest. Having tied a rope to his arrow, Echoon drew his bow and took aim. With an abrupt thud, the arrow pierced the wood. The chest seemed to be heavy, but the arrow held fast as Echoon pulled the chest toward the toward the edge. Watch yourselves, Echoon shouted, uh, giving one more yank before the chest fell. The chest fell to the stone floor with a loud thud. A huge cloud of th dust rising around it. The wood had darkened after years of exposure to the sun and the, and the rain. The metal sli siding had grown a layer of rust, and the decorative carvings on the lid were barely discernible. Even so, the chest itself was robust and secure as the day it was made by some unknown dwarven master. Of course, it was still locked. Oh, we could try looking for a key. Hey, we found it. The search turned out to be a surprising success. We found the key in a small niche that had been covered with rubble. Despite its age, the dwarven lock was still operational. We turned the key and the chest lid and the chest lid opened with a shrill creak. In inside, we found the simple possessions of a dwarven warrior who must have once been stationed in this tower. Battle gear consisting of chainmail, a helmet, a shield, and an axe. A pair of torn traveling boots and a metal tankard the size of a small bucket. A pipe and a full pouch of tobacco, which had petrified it for the years. And lastly, a peculiar little thing, a complex red metal cog. The suit black and apron. Alright, let's see what this stuff is all about. Breastplate plus two. Troll Reaper. Plus one Great Axe deals one to six acid damage. It's pretty cool. Ring of Protection, where's that? Okay. He can use this. What is it? His plus five dexterity, so I want to give him that. Hmm. I can sell it. It's worth a good amount of money. I have a lot of antiquities to sell as well. This is worth a decent amount. Also. Okay. Our path leads on. Oh, neat. Well, it seems like this area is almost clear. Um, I think I'm still going to call it here. And the next episode, because we're at, what, 48 minutes? Yeah, we'll call it here. The next episode, we'll finish exploring this area. Uh, might head back to the capital and take care of some stuff. Like you said there are three rings. Let's go check this out real quick. I, I know. I keep saying I'm going to end the episode, but... I want to see if I put at least the first ring in there. Try to put a cog inside the mechanism. Okay, so yeah, you gotta put all three of them in there. Alright, well we're gonna call it here, and then the next one we'll uh, again wrap this area up, go back to the capital, sell some stuff. Might go back to the capital off camera and sell stuff, so y'all don't have to see that. Then we'll just pick up where we left off next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.